Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to go over some spawning gameplay mechanics. So we're going to make it so that we actually spawn zombies and then kill them so there's an actual game. Um, I also went ahead and randomized the zombies so that completely random ones will spawn now and they gib like this. Go a little crazy but I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, so we'll save that and we're going to go to our blueprints folder. Main, we'll go to the game folder, create a new uh, blueprint class, make it an actor, and we'll call it BP base zombie spawner and um, so we already have a game mode and it's set as the default game mode so we'll just load up first person game mode and open full blueprint editor to uh, get the window drag that over uh, so we don't need to use a spawner we could technically just use the game mode but we're uh, we're gonna use a spawner just to have all of our settings organized there rather than making it messy in the game mode but in the game mode, we're going to go to begin play, and we're going to do create actor from class, or sorry, spawn actor from class, and we're going to name it BP, or sorry, we're going to spawn the spawner. We'll just make a random transform, it's fine. And we're going to promote this to a variable and name it spawner. So this way our game mode it'll always spawn a spawner and it'll set it as a variable so we can access it in the game mode and uh, so let's see so in the spawner we're gonna do on begin play we're gonna get player pawn actually no we're gonna make a new custom event spawn zombie is what we'll call it and we're gonna do off player pawn we're gonna do reachable we're gonna take off context sensitive Get random reachable, bleh, random reachable point and radius. So actually, random reachable point and radius. Yeah. So don't do it dragging off it. Just uh, just type it in the open. And we're gonna do get actor location. And we're gonna make the radius five thousand. And we'll set this as a variable spawn location and then off that we'll do actually in the open we'll do spawn AI from class and its class will be base zombie and the location will be here and the rotation will be get look at uh, look at rotation find look at rotation connect that connect the spawn location to the start and the get player pawn actor location to the target just so it'll face the player file and save <clears throat> and uh, what else do we want to do okay so we can we can do this a few ways but what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a timer we're gonna set a spawn timer so we'll do set timer by event and we'll drag the event into spawn zombie and the time will make a variable time between spawns. Pile and save. Make that editable. And we'll start it off with a default of three. Okay. So this is going to make it so when this function is called, it constantly re repeats every three seconds. So we got to be careful for that, but for now, this will do our purpose. So spawn zombie we'll call that on begin play when the uh, game mode starts and uh, that'll start spawning zombies so let's get rid of these guys and uh, see what happens here nothing all right let's see what's going wrong put this down to 2500 maybe it's just too too much All right, let's figure out what's going wrong. Now we spawn ignore collisions. Nope. Okay, so let's let's print string. Make sure that this is actually going. And it's not going. Why is it not going? 
First person game mode. Oh, there's two first person game modes for some reason. I like recreated it. Okay, so we'll just rename this one GM Zombie Game Mode. File, save all. We'll change this to GM Zombie Game Mode. Alright, now we got zombies spawning. And we are hitting the collision again, even though we turn that off. Think. We'll just go in here. Collision components. Okay, so it's blocking this stuff. So you know what? Let's uh turn that off maybe. Right. Okay, so let's see how we want to do this. Um, because we should be able to just hit visibility, but it's not working that way, it seems. I wonder why it isn't working that way. I guess it just doesn't do, um, right, because it's an object. What am I talking about? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. Alright, so what we're going to do is, <clears throat> we'll get rid of the hello in there, so we don't need that. Zombies are spawning properly. So we'll go to our go to our projectile and we will make its collision respond to uh, pawns. Block that. But its object height is projectile. So what we'll do is we'll go to our zombie and on death we'll set collision response to channel projectile. We'll set that to ignore as well. And now we should be able to. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so now let's make this an actual game. 